NetEase has launched several big games over the past years including Marvel Rivals, Naraka Blade Point, and now Where Winds Meet. Many of these games are cross-platform compatible, but not all of them. And as of now, setting up cross-save for NetEase games can be a pain and confusing. We'll go over the best way to get your NetEase account set up to work across the games that qualify. If you're looking to sync your account with Marvel Rivals only, feel free to skip all the way to the Marvel Rivals part. So the best way to sync your progress across platforms is getting a NetEase account first. So NetEase does not require this, but signing up for one will help everything out. Well, almost everything. NetEase actually highly recommends it, and I do too. I'll put a link to their sign up in the description. Now, if you don't sign up, it is possible to set up cross progression, but you'll have to sync platforms for each and every game that qualifies. Plus, not all games support cross progression like Naraka Blade Point. Now, if you decide to make a NetEase account, unlike many other account linking sites, you'll notice that there is not a way to sync platforms from their website. To me, this is one of the dumbest things I've seen in account linking since I've started this channel. But this is probably because not every game supports cross progression. So to actually link platforms, you're going to have to go to any game that supports account linking, like Fragpunk or the newly released game Where Winds Meet. So to start off, I'm going to showcase this on console. So I'm going to show you how to link your account on Where Winds Meet. This game is currently only available on PlayStation and PC, but not Xbox. But other games that do have Xbox support, like Fragpunk, will work the same way. Go to the game settings. Go to Other, then Bind Account. A pop-up will appear with platforms to link your account. As you can see, they recommend linking your NetEase account, which I also highly recommend to do first. But like I mentioned, you don't have to. This user does not, so it means they would have to link accounts for each suitable NetEase game. From here, choose a platform that you want to link with. This user chooses the Steam platform to link their progress to PC. Consoles will prompt you to do this with a QR code and then scan it to sign in with your platform account. Once you have successfully done so, go back to the account page and you'll see your account linked. Feel free to do the same with all the other platforms like Epic Games as seen here as well. Now if you're coming from any other PC platforms like Epic or Steam, the process is similar but you might have some issues linking with the windows popping up and getting hidden behind the game window. If this happens to you on PC, I recommend changing your display to windowed mode and then lowering your game resolution so you can see the platform syncing window appear as you choose a platform to bind your account to. Now that you can actually see the window you're syncing with, sync as many platforms as you want. Now you might have just noticed that I switched games to Fragpunk, since Fragpunk also supports the Xbox platform. I will sync my Xbox account as well here, just in case you were wondering if NetEase supports Xbox cross-platform. It does. Now notice that I actually will have my NetEase accounts synced, so this will affect other games that support cross-progression. So let's see if this actually worked. To check this, I loaded up Fragpunk on the Xbox console. As you can see, my accounts are synced, so the process does work. Now, if you're looking to link your Marvel Rivals account to separate platforms, this is a different beast altogether. Even though I have my NetEase account linked to other platforms as I previously showed, that doesn't mean your Marvel Rivals account is already set up for cross-progression. This game is separate from other NetEase games and you'll still have to manually link your account to other platforms. Previously, Marvel Rivals didn't have cross-progression, but now it does. Here's an overview of how it works. Log into the primary platform of the account that you want to span over all the other link platforms, and then link those accounts. To do this, go to Settings, Other, scroll down to Account, and then hit Link Now. Here is where you will link any additional platforms you want linked to the account that you are currently logged into with. Be aware that this will overwrite any progress that you have on the other platforms if you have any, so make sure this is something you want to do. But if you do unlink your account, your previous platform account status will return. But there's also a cooldown time to when you can relink another account for that specific platform. There are a couple more details, so I recommend reading the facts on their support page as seen here to understand more on how this works. 
So that basically wraps up how cross-save works for NetEase games. No, it's not super simple for all games, and no, not all games are the same, as you can see. But I hope this helps in the endeavor to sync most of the games that do support cross-platform. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you like this video on setting up cross-save for NetEase games, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel, or join our Patreon and our Discord in links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.